I love stories about rodents. This is a famous story about children and mice. If you give a mouse a cookie, see, he's leaving home. He's got a backpack on and he's going out into the world to seek his fortune. And there's a little boy just eating snacks and reading a comic book. <gasps> Look, he's offering a cookie to this wild mouse. That's not a very good idea. Not only do they carry rabies, <laughs> But a mouse in your house is a problem. Let's see why. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he's going to fall in that glass of milk and then you're going to have a drowned mouse in your milk. He'll probably ask you for a straw because milk isn't fun to drink if you can't blow bubbles. And try blowing bubbles in milk without a straw. Pfft, it's a mess. <laughs> he's getting through everything here in the whole cupboard trying to find the straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. The milk mustache. It's a perfectly refreshing beverage. The cottage cheese <laughs> mustache. <sighs> the whipped cream mustache. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> When he looks in the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. He's got one long one. It's just two. It's out there. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Don't run with scissors. It's dangerous. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. Because mice are known for their cleanliness. Look at this, he's got a firestorm of hair falling on the floor. There's a little sprinkled pile. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. That's gonna take a little, oh boy, he's making messes. Look, there's a pile of dirt there, a pile of dirt there, and he's making a big pile over there. I guess it turns out not to be a mess. He's even rolled up the carpets. He may even end up washing the floors as well. He's got a sponge. He's scrubbing and dub-dubbing. You know, scrub-a-dub-dub. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap because he's going to be really tired. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. <laughs> a pillow. <laughs> he's dumping out his mother's... It says super beauty powder. <laughs> he's dumping it out. Because you got to make room for this pillow he's going to make out of handkerchiefs and a little scarf. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. <laughs> He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Make sure it's not about cats. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. He's reading a comic book here. <laughs> and then he won't stay in bed. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Because mice are very artistic. They love to draw. He'll draw a picture. Here's the crayons. He has the green one. What is he going to draw? What do you think? What would a mouse draw? <gasps> it's his family! Look, there's his mama and his papa and his brother and his sister. And there's their little house that he left that morning. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Very important that you sign your pictures. Like this. There. With a pen. Oh. Oh, good thing you have one. He's pick He's trying to pick up the dust piles. There's a little dust pile up there that he made. He swept the top there. Good thing he didn't knock that lamp off. 
If it was David, he would have knocked the lamp off and gotten yelled at by his parents. I said, no, David! Oh, he broke it. It's everywhere. Oh, no. But it's a mouse and mice are careful. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> Which means he'll need scotch tape. Okay. Oh, not, not this kind? Oh. Boring kind. You gotta... Toss him the tape. Look, he's trying to clean up after his cleaning. Yeah, you, you'd think cleaning up would make things cleaner, but if you leave the mop out and you leave the dust piles out, there's, there's a big mess. You gotta finish cleaning it all up. So he's finishing cleaning it up while the mouse moves on to the next thing. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Look, he stood on some little those must be artichokes or something, some crackers, a box of Italia, that must be noodles, and a cracker barrel thingy and green olives. And he got all the way to the top and he taped his picture to the refrigerator. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, oh no, he's thirsty. Uh, 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 he's drying up. He needs something to drink right away. Quick, quick, get him something to drink. So, look, he's fallen asleep over here. The little boy is so tired out from taking care of this mouse. He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, puts the mouse on his shoulder and walks back into the kitchen, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. And that starts the whole thing over again. There, Look, he has little footprints running off. If you give a mouse a cookie... He's going to want a lot more than a cookie, and you're going to spend your whole night getting that mouse all these things and cleaning up after him. And then he'll have another cookie and start all over again. Written by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. <laughs> That's probably the tastiest mustache. We do hope you've enjoyed this great, amazing book show. And if you'd like to see further titles, click on any of our videos with the orange button in the bottom left-hand corner.